Snowy Mountains give you a, a 3 p.m. snow report. Today's snow reporter's notes. At Stowe, enjoyed some dry laps. Good news, base depths are deep and snowpack is still relatively cold and dry just below the surface. The snow reporting team went up to take some snowpack cores today at the high road plot and found an average of 21 inches of liquid equivalent, known as the snow water equivalent, or SWE, and 77 inches of snow at a depth of a snow depth at 3,000 feet. At 27% water, the snowpack has quite a bit of room to absorb this rainfall. Usually we start to see accelerated melt at 40% or greater, and we are nowhere near that. Tomorrow's forecast, cloudy skies with rain showers changing to snow. Guess who was part of that SWE team today? They invited TK up, and that was so fun. Doing some serious uh, for forecasting spring flood outlook. Measuring how much water was in the snow today before this rain set in. So here's a video just about some of the things I got to do earlier in the day. Or depending on when I edited this, maybe it was yesterday. But it was Wednesday, March 5th, up there in that cloud. There was not a cloud there then. And skiing was still pretty good even after the snow got wet. Obviously, it's melting now, but winter's far from over. So here's uh, TK getting to do some real science. Thank you, guys. That was really fun. The elusive Andre and the snow reporter that everyone loves, but a little shy for being on the camera. <laughs> With uh, two secret agents that allowed me up to the secret spot to do the secret mission of measuring the snow with the secret coded mistake. All right. And this mistake is on Mount Mansfield. It's somewhere around 3,000 feet. And it's measured daily. There's stuff on the bottom of my ski. What is that? <laughs> my skis are stuck to the snow. I remember when I was a boy, snow was slippery. <laughs> so come over here. And the mission is to see how much snow fell in the last 24 hours. So we wipe it. Now this stake is a little different than many of the others where uh, the bottom of course is zero, but then it says one right at the bottom because that one indicates that line. So we've got one, almost two inches. And it's probably settled since yesterday. It snowed really hard with the warm front. Yesterday was March 4th, today's March 5th. And so I think officially in the book, we're gonna put something like, uh, it depends whether you're a stickler or not, 1.9, two inches of snow here at 3,000 feet. And then if you keep this data every day, all season, you have legit data. <laughs> what else can we do? Can we measure the depth of the snow and, almost how, and also how much it weighs to get the water content? We have the first liquid precipitation, not right the second, of the entire year 2025, 65 days in a row with nothing but snow from this high road plot all the way up to the summit. This is the first time it's gonna have rained. So this data that we use, the water content and the snow depth is useful in forecasting the flood threat as we get into the spring flood season and uh, mud season and sugaring season and spring ski season. And I think there's enough snow to get us all the way to May. That is if you don't mind hiking up the mountain, which our camera operator does not mind at all. Does he? <laughs> all right, this is actually science. This is a, a core, a tube to get a core sample of the, the snow on the ground. And there's 72 inches of snow, and this is a 60 inch tube, so it's gonna be a little tricky. And uh, I'm kind of a, a newbie at this. I think I had to do it in college. Linden State College, Vermont, by the way, where they make meteorologists. And one of the hardest courses was called Instruments and Observations. So this is an instrument, and we're doing an observation. And uh, somebody already did one, so this is an example of what it looks like inside. Someone did one. Can I stomp it down with my ski? You can. Can I? Really? Yeah, I mean, you're going to keep, you want to keep the snow in there, but you want to, you're going to have to push that down more further. It's more than 60. More than 60. I think I might have to take my skis off, which I've been asked not to do. And, uh... Get it. Not, you, not, not to do it, I don't want you to disappear. Oh, he's down. <laughs> We've got a weatherman down. So try and keep, as you push it down, keep the snow in the top of the tube. Yeah. Got you. All right, okay. I think I've hit the bottom. I found the bottom there. Yep. Now getting it out of there. You basically got to take that other ski. That's going to be tricky too. We're playing in the snow. Work is play, play is work. 
Hey, I got my new waterproof pants on. It's still cold. So what's interesting, I read in the uh, snow report this morning, is that the snow is very dry and cold. So it should be able to absorb a lot of the incoming rain. But you need to know how much water content there is in the snow to make your spring flood outlook. And so this data actually does go to the National Weather Service. If TK can get this thing out, now I have to take my gloves off. This is the not fun part. And stick my finger in there. Oh, here we go. It's make sure better yeah, than I thought. Make sure nothing falls out. Pull it out nice and slow. Okay. Try and keep all the snow in it. Yeah. Gotcha. You see any? And let's see if we did. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. You got a little bit of organic, which is good. Just a, just a touch. Oh, we did. We got to the bottom. Just a very touch. But that just all right. That's, that's good. what I call worm chow. It's not even. It, yeah, it's what you want. <laughs> Now we try and remain balanced and stable. And the next item on our agenda is the official National Weather Service snow density ometer. Because one inch of water weighs the same. So we have the official measurement. Let's be careful. Be careful. All right, wait, yep. hang on. You got to get that right in the middle. Balance it out so you can let it hang. Almost there. Interesting that it's a little weighted more on the side than that. And what is the number? Well, 21, same as the other one. 21, so we have 21 inches of water content in approximately six feet of snow at 3,000 foot elevation on Mount Mansfield, Vermont on Tuesday, Wednesday, March 5th, 2025. And for the first time in the year 2025, we are going to rain on the snow here above 3,000 feet in the Northern Green Mountains. And uh, thank you guys for allowing me to be the observer today. And those guys' names are, and they don't want to be on the, and they are really nice hosts. Just can't say their names or where we are. And this tape will sit self-destruct in three, two, one. So a, a snow stake at the top, I went up to that, you saw it a couple days ago, that was at about eight feet, around 96, seven inches. And that was at what, 4,000 feet? And this one's at more like 3,000 feet. And right here, we've got about 77 inches. So that's uh, just over six feet. Six times 12 is 72. So we've got six, uh, roughly six and a half feet of snow uh, base depth right here, which uh, is, is formidable. I mean, I think it's back to 2019 that we rivaled something like this. I remember that year. Uh, you went up the forward and a quad and the snow was almost up to your skis when you're going up that quad and it's getting close to that now. So we're rivaling some history making 2019, but the real year of record when we were being born is 1969. I wish we could find that data, but this is great data. Honored to be part of the data collection system. Oh, speaking of fancy data, here's the temperature. <laughs> focus, Tim, focus. Uh, the numbers are really small. It looks like about 32 degrees. And we do have a little bit of liquid, but not really too much dripping yet. So unlike many of the trees around here, you can't ski out down. You got to go lateral. But fortunately, there's a direction finder for you. The tracks don't hurt either. But let's preserve the data. Can't tell you exactly where we are. I get in trouble. 